Hi, my name is Beth Rameski. I'm a pediatric surgeon at Cincinnati Children's. I wanted to talk to you today about a difficult patient population, children under five who you suspect of having appendicitis. As we know, this is, can be an incredibly difficult diagnosis to make in small children. So I wanted to review with you today three studies that have looked at the most common signs and symptoms to help you identify these patients and get them to early surgical evaluation. The first study we're gonna talk about is a 28 year review of patients under age three that were seen at sick kids. Interestingly, they only had about one patient per year, so not a very common diagnosis. However, they did find a few things. 100% of their patients under age three presented with a perforation, and 67% of them presented with an x-ray that was consistent with a bowel obstruction. And I think we see similar things here in that oftentimes an x-ray will be done that suggests bowel obstruction, but really the underlying cause is appendicitis. The second study looked at 63 patients under age three. 57% of them were seen by a healthcare provider and initially misdiagnosed, and 84% were perforated at the time of the actual diagnosis. The most common presenting symptoms were over 80% with vomiting, more than 70% with pain, more than 60% with fever, and about 35% with diarrhea. In terms of physical exam findings, the two most common findings present in over 60% of patients were diffuse abdominal tenderness and guarding. The third and final study looked at 120 patients under age five. Of the children under age one, 100% presented perforated. This decreased as the child's age increased. However, the best number was 69% perforated at age five, which is still high perforation rate. The most common symptoms they noted were pain in over 90% of patients, vomiting in over 80%, anorexia in about 70%, and again, similar to the prior study, diarrhea in 35% of patients. So the takeaway really for this video is to maintain a high degree of suspicion in patients that are presenting to your office with any of these symptoms. We know this is a very rare diagnosis based on the studies. However, if you're seeing a patient with abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea, fevers, or an x-ray that looks like a bowel obstruction, we really need to see that patient to evaluate them for appendicitis. For more information or to discuss this further, please use the contact information on the screen.